hello to Access Power Teacher. You will want to go to the staff link on the DDSP webpage if you don't have a shortcut on your laptop already. We want to log into the new DDSP website portal called Spark. You'll enter your username and password to get in there. And once you get in here, you'll see some popular links. And if you scroll down, you will find a Power Teacher link available there. Once you've loaded Power Teacher, you want to put in your username and password, just like you do at school. Select Sign In. You'll see each of your classes listed. And if you want to display all of your uh, parent emails on one page, select the print icon right here. And we want to generate a parent email report. So that's going to be this section right here. Select the drop down box. Select parent email addresses, then select submit. Once you do this, you'll see a job name with a date right here at the top, and you'll see a status running. You need to wait for this to say completed in order to be able to see your report and what it looks like. You can press refresh and you'll see that your job has ended. Now you can view all of your parent email addresses. What you'll notice are the students names are here. Over here you'll also have pupil number which is also pretty handy to have because if you put the letter S in front of it that's the students pupil ID or um, user ID for a lot of DDSB services. So if a, if a student were to ask you or a parent were to ask you what a student's um, pupil ID is, you can find that information over here to the far left. Remember when they log in, students will need to put an S right there. For the email addresses, you'll see them found over here to the right hand side. It is very important to note that all of this information is private and you need to keep it in a secure location, um, hidden behind a username and password on your DDSB laptop that is encrypted properly. It is also very important to note that if you're going to be emailing multiple parents at once that you always use the BCC field in your email. That will prevent parents from emailing each other and seeing each other's emails. Again that's very important if you're emailing multiple parents always make sure that you use the BCC field in your email client. Another way you can access a parent's email address is using the backpack for the class. So you select the backpack and over on the left you will see um, all your students names listed. So select the student's name and here on the upper right side you'll want to select demographics you will also find a parent's email listed here if needed. 